Let's get superstars back with another VV video. You got superstar Joe. You got superstar Rob in the building. Rob, how's it going? Pretty good. You? Not too bad. I hit you with my hair, guys. Check out the hair. Check out the barber. No, no hat. You went. You went from having. Check out the fade. I just came to show the fade at the beginning of the video. Hair is not styled, so. You Put you hat on. you went from Hardest. having we went from having the wrong hat to having two hats to no hat. Now we're back to the hat. It's good. Yeah, the hat's got to be there. It is a FA hat, uh, classic hat. So you guys have to see it, guys. If you have not already, and you want to get a nice haircut from your barber, become a superstar. You go show your your barber your superstar subscription, and they're just gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna set you up. People are gonna be complimenting you all day. Make sure to become a superstar. Hit that subscribe button down below. Also, we did a live stream yesterday. If you guys didn't see it. Huge turnout. It was so much fun. It lasted an hour and a half or two hours or something like that. And uh, we had great conversation with a lot of you guys. We love doing that. And uh, it was pretty awesome. Also, you guys have been watching it into today. We've been noticing comments popping up here and there. So uh, yeah. really appreciate it. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. Because uh, honestly, a lot of good topics that we went over on that video. Um, so go check that out. The bell notification is great to find out whenever we go live. Also, Twitter. Um, I'm going to show you right here because... We post there when we're about to go live or when the day we're thinking. So if you have the bell notifications on on Twitter, that'll tell you that. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on TikTok. Practice your signature. People are going to be asking you for your signature if you send us pictures and videos because we're going to tag you. And you're just going to instantly become famous. David, you will be asking you to take a picture. Facts. Like just Fastos straight up backup. facts. Fastos, back up if you want to follow us. Uh, when we get web access platform. Speaking of that, a lot of people got it today, including this guy. So Rob's got web access now. Um, I got web access, but our superstar money account still doesn't. And I think I know why, because Alex G put out a tweet today and he said, it's based off user activity. So obviously that account doesn't have much activity going on in it. I go for some drops on it here and there, but it's not a main right now. We can't transfer to it. So not going to be building up that account, uh, when I could be building up the main account. Yeah. So that must be why it doesn't have the access yet, uh, just because it's a little bit less. But maybe you guys have been very active and don't have access. So I would love to hear in the comments if that's baloney or if it's uh, true. But yeah, I seen it. I seen a tweet about it. I heard the the new batch of people. There's a lot of people I heard that got got the web app this time around. So I'm one yeah. of them. Finally got it. I already like it a lot. I think it's a great way to filter through. I, I actually prefer it over the the main app. Yeah, it's great for content creators for sure. I uh, I like uh, the phone still better for. For going for things right after a drop it's True. just a little bit quicker yeah um to refresh yeah. but like you have to refresh the tab and then go and click but clicking is faster on the web app so like buying things after they've been sitting for a while better on the web app yeah uh, and also like loading gems way better you can even load like pennies of a gem it's crazy wow uh, yeah it's actually pretty cool but That's yeah follow us, follow us on vv once we get web app access for our superstar money account we will follow all you back because now it's easy i think you can even do it on the phone now so uh maybe that's something i'll try and do uh, whenever I get some time here. So if you're not following, follow it and I'll follow you back for sure. Yeah. I uh, I made sure I got uh, the painters came today. They put some primer on. I made sure I put Keep Calm Stack on back on the legendary wall back there. So there he is. Yeah. Hall Shout of Fame right him. there. The Wall of Fame. Shout out to uh, Keep Calm Stack on. Uh, legend in the community. War, uh, war, war Superstar Money t-shirt. David and Dan want to take a photo. Yeah. They, they basically made him into a superstar. Good things. Uh, uh, wall of Fame. Guys, we have the drop that happened today was first appearance Thanos and nobody cared about it. No, you know what? It was a B rank. It was a B rank comic in the end too, which is a pretty good one. But I think it doesn't have good physical world value, which is why it was punished. The common was punished in the secondary market. I just think if it's not like a top 10 on comics and crypto or uh, VB rank that people are just not going for these things. I, I think yeah. that the appetite is gone and we're going to get into and just as, actually, you know what? Let me pull that up right now. Yeah. I think the appetite is gone because you do have a lot less people going for drops right now. Um, not to say that it won't come back. Uh, I just think people are like kind of exhausted. Maybe a lot of people spent a lot of their their gems on the Vader drop. And now <clears throat> these other things, unless it's really crazy. I've heard that all the time. You hear that all the time on Twitter. Unless there's a huge drop, I'm not going for it. Unless there's a huge drop, I'm not going for it. So This is, this sure. is great data, though, that that's coming out now. Great data. So, shout out Superstar Jess. Shout out Superstar Mel. Um from Mel's Meta Magic, these guys put us onto uh, this tweet from Only the Clown Wallet Activity Breakdown. So, the first part is pretty cool activity within the last six months 614,546 wallet accounts or whatever were doing stuff. This includes when there was bots in the app. I remember uh, that, yeah. 
three months, 256,434. This must still include some body, body well, counts. That puts us back into April when things really started getting shaken up a bit, you know? So yeah, yeah. this is when all this stuff was happening. And then one month ago, this could be mostly real people. Um, 82,925. Well, Star Wars brought that, you know, that must have been a big part of that 82,000. Well, seven days ago is when we, we kind of see, actually, yeah, you're right. It would have been within the one month. Seven days ago after the Star Wars drop, I would assume, right? Yeah. Is 36,000 and three days ago, 26,000 active accounts. So uh, as you can tell, the numbers are kind of going in the wrong direction. Uh, well, it, it tells us information that we've always suspected, but now we have confirmation. So we did believe, we've talked about how probably there's about 25,000 active users. It's good. That means it's a small community. So, you know, when people talk about the prices, the 25,000 active users in the last three days right now are supporting the current prices in the market. Yeah. There's a lot of hope that when that user base will inevitably grow, all of a sudden now the pool of money expands and... It's no longer just 25,000 people. When you think about it, it kind of makes sense why we're in this bearish trend. There's just not enough people here to fork out money out of their wallets. And this is like, course. this is almost like a second chance for some of us, right? Like that's basically what they're doing here. The bots kind of gave us that second chance because now we know what could happen with influx of numbers of people. When people can't make drops, can't get drops, they pump it in in the secondary market because they want the thing that dropped, but they weren't able to get it on the drop. And I'm sure we're going to get back to those times eventually. And when we do now, being in it from the bot times, we kind of know what to expect. Uh, so we've seen a picture of it and that's kind of what the charts tell you. This is how high it could go when you're around 600,000 users uh, per se, right? It might yeah. be even higher because the 600,000 users are real people. It's not just bots. They're not gonna just be selling it to anybody for, for the floor. There's gonna be a little bit more people holding, I would think. Well, it, uh, so it you might not need hard. as many people. You might not it, need as many people. It can't be that hard to double if you think about it, right? How yeah. hard is it really to go from 25,000 active users to 50,000 active users? Yeah. 25,000 in a world of 7 billion. <laughs> and I know it's not active to in every country, but the point is, is that it, it may not be that hard to find those 25,000 people that have the appetite yeah. for yeah. NFT, even during the current market conditions globally. So we'll see how things change as more, as more time develops. I think from a VV like business perspective, it's only up from here. It's not like they, they, they've had a lot of momentum. They're continuing the momentum. The business themselves, the only hiccups they've really had are basically false promises that they haven't delivered on. But no. for the most part, they're continuing with their momentum. I'm excited to see the time when new users come in. No, for sure. And uh, just another thing that he has here, uh, I might as well show it off here. Wallets with number of collectibles. We've shown this before from Bravos Assassin. Here's a little bit of an updated number, I assume. Yeah. One collectible, 343,000. So we don't have this number from before. That was good. To this is good to know. We, ne we never had one collectible. I thought we, had, we ha I thought we had it. We had two plus. So okay, 345,000 okay. um, ish with one collectible. Okay. Then you got 68,000 with two. Yeah. Look at 500 plus, not even a thousand. Yeah. Still though, that's a lot. It's a lot. But you know what? There should have been more breakdown in between there. I yeah, feel like there's sure. a lot of people between two and 500. <laughs> definitely like 500 is like yeah. a whale alert i mean that's like yeah. another level or you're just buying a bunch of common comics yeah <laughs> 1214 3021 5000 wow wow 5000 8000 8000 we know two of them are vv one is probably a burn wallet and one is probably uh but these are these are real real they're, whales they're holding wallet with the yeah. 5000 plus like these are people that are just another level of money right now yeah, they know, they know, or they really, exp they're, they're, they're going all in. Or it's um, just one dude that just owns 5,000 of one collectible. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah. 5,000 of like a common comic. He's like, I'm uh, going to control this price for the rest of the time. <laughs> yeah, for real. Um, anyway, so that's something we wanted to show you. Now, also, we have another comic coming that I don't think it's anywhere close to first appearance Thanos. First appearance of Kamala Khan as Miss Marvel. So we've already had the first appearance of Kamala Khan, and that went to like two bucks. Yeah. <laughs> and now we're getting it. First appearance of Kamala Khan as Miss Marvel. I think it's less prevalent, uh, but maybe not. Maybe well, uh, we 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 honestly don't even really look these up anymore because we already know the comic book consultants are going to let us know in the comments below. Yeah. They just know. They just know what these comics are. I would are. just I would just think that this is going to perform worse than today's comic. Yeah, I mean, let us know below if this has good high physical world value. Let us know below if you think this is a good comic or not. Uh, curious to know your thoughts. Probably I will not be going for it. Um, I like the covers. That's a shame. I like the 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 alter the green, and the rare. The green cover, yeah, it's nice. It's nice. And even you know what? Even the comment with the head in the in the corner there, I really like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
You got some. It's a new. It looks like a newer comic, a new age. You can tell just by like, how the art is. You got the Silver Surfer here. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, oh know, yeah, yeah. Cool. They're just blending in all some. Like we would never know who that person was if it wasn't for VV releasing a comic book of him. Yeah, it's true. So pretty cool. Um, excited to hear what you guys have to say. But I'm gonna be honest. Even as a gambler, I'm probably not going for this. Actually. Yeah. Yeah, I probably won't go for this one. No. Um, doesn't make sense to me. I've been burned a couple times. Will this, uh, will this be recently. the first $1 comic that I've been saying for, for so long? Will this it be could be. Today one? Today I went for this, by the way. I got uh, two commons and one uncommon. And then yeah. I ended up flipping the uncommon and put a little bit extra gems to get a rare. Uh, so And I bought another common, I think. So I have like three commons and one rare. That's yeah. been what I've been doing for like comics I really want. Yeah. Um, I know there's a bunch of people stacking the crap out of this, like 20, 30 comics. Yeah. Uh, which makes sense if you really like uh, Thanos. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's obviously a massive character. The future will not will no longer have him anymore. But uh, obviously, he's one of the the biggest mass murderers we've ever known. Yeah. So, uh, so, so no wonder why people <laughs> loved him as a villain. Yeah. So let us get into the topic of the video here. Um, basically, which low mints are the best buys on VV? Um, a lot of people have been going the low mint game. I think we've been talking about it for a while here that uh, we weren't buying anything in the market yet. Uh, we didn't see the sentiment changing. Uh, and so far, we've been right that the market's still been retracing a little bit. Um, but there has been some things that we've purchased or I've purchased. And it's been here and there whenever I see a low mint. And I've mentioned it a couple of times. And I kind of wanted to go into detail in this video to mention like how I pick what I'm going for if I am going to make a purchase and use my gems because ultimately we still believe in the sentiment that things should go down until we get a little bit more people in the app. Uh, as Rob, as we showed, like 25,000, if we get 50,000, it's double yeah. could really help. Um, and that could happen quickly as Rob mentioned. So, uh, yeah. but in the meantime, while we are going uh, in this direction, if I'm looking to add, I'm looking for specific things. And I guess I'm, I'm going to turn it over to you, Rob, on your screen. You bring up a couple examples, and uh, we'll, we'll talk about each example, and maybe this is the best way to explain it. Yeah, like it, I, there's two ways to look at it as well. Like obviously there's there's the option of are you buying to flip or are you buying to hold long-term? Now, if you're buying to hold long-term, in a way, it doesn't really matter what you buy, but you kind of want to time it in the sense that you just want to get you want to get a deal at that time for your money. Even though you, you know it might retrace, at the time, you still want to get the best deal you yeah. possibly can. I just picked a random like I before the video. I just picked a random uh, collectible here, the I have Aga model because I had a little bit of a different spin on it. Whereas I was saying what what you shouldn't do when you flip, right? So my perspective was like, okay, you got this number seven forty one. There's two ways to look at it. If you're going for a flip, you have to make sure that there's nothing else in this range. Someone floored it. To me, if someone's flooring a three digit like this, then likely what's happening is no one's buying it. So it's yeah. a, it's actually a bearish indicator that people are flooring their three digits. Now, obviously this person wants you to get, just get rid of it. Um, but if you take a look down the list, what you find is that there's some other ones here. You have number 624 for 190. Uh, you got, um, 758, you got 197, you got 205, 199, 659, 199, 371 HS. So now you're at 200, you're at 70. Someone bought the other one. Someone bought that other one. Someone bought the other one that I had, which was there was another one that was 189 so uh that was listed for 189 195 oh, i think i think no, it was one nine, it number was 195 one. for oh there it is yeah it 189 yeah, yeah. yeah it was this one it's still so there. that's a good mint right and it was yeah. just so funny because i used it i was going to use this as an example on look who's selling it taps trade shout out taps trade himself is the yeah, one selling this <laughs> on youtube of course and so if you bought that that floor you're like great it's a floor i'm getting a deal but are you really getting a deal if you're going to flip it because you're competing now with all these guys plus the market fee. Yeah. And then if these guys can't sell it, 189 for 189, the floor already is 140. What makes you think anyone's going to buy yours at 160, 170? So, so if you want to get in for the long run, it gives you a huge spread on the floor. Yeah. But at the same time, if you're going for a flip, you might not be getting a deal. So the way the way I've been playing it, and uh, I'm going to give you all my cards here, which uh, I don't know. Now you guys are going to go take all my stuff I want. But anyway, I'm looking – for the floor to be within like i'm looking for a three digit which to me is a low enough mint i just like to see the extra digit gone and i think a lot of people look for that nowadays um with whoever's left here um and i want that to be within like 10 percent of the floor of the floor so if if 
if the 139 wasn't there, I'm probably not touching the 180 or the 189, whatever it was, because we're not within that 10%. Also, um, I don't like when there's multiples around each other, because I know that there's a couple people trying to sell the same thing means to me that somebody didn't buy the first one. Now someone else listed somebody didn't buy that one. So there's a couple options here. I, if I wanted this, which I don't, I would probably pick up the, the 741 and it would only be to hold. I don't think right now is a good opportunity to flip. I tried it already once with, uh, I had like a 600 gem spread on ASM 252 and nobody wanted it. Nobody's buying my flips. So I'm not even in the flip game right now. I, I liquidated things. You guys know about that. And I've been buying back slowly some things. I got in Darth Vader because that was an opportunity, obviously. I picked up three. I now have only two left. I sold one off uh, today, actually. I have another one listed. Uh, I'm trying to get to, to make a little bit of gems on that um, because I feel like there's going to be opportunities to come here. And I think there's still a little bit of hype left in that item. But here, I would take the floor. I would take the floor item because it's within 10% of the floor. Obviously, it is the floor. And I would hold it if I wanted this. This is something I would add to my collection. It's enough. There's enough spread to the next one at like 189, whatever it was um, for me. And it might take a while for the next person to put one down there. This item here might be a little bit more volatile just because I don't think it's as as sought after. But when you look at like grails or like blue chips, um, it's, a, it's a little less likely that someone's putting a low digit within that 10%. So if it does happen, uh, I think it's definitely a good pickup. Yeah. And objectively speaking, if it was me, I still probably wouldn't pick this up only because I see this as people are having trouble selling it. Now you do have a, you know, almost more than close to 50% increase on the ones that are down here. Yeah. Um, I think your theory though is great. Like for example, if I want to make a move, I wouldn't be on this one, but let's say I want to make a move on the golden moments. I want to complete the set. Ideally I'm holding it for the long term. I'm going to want three digit sets and I can just wait in this market until I see a three digit pop up in that 10% because I don't care what happens. I want to just buy it. I want to have it in my collection and I want to own it. And I'm gonna, I want to own three digits and I'm going to try to go for the ones that are within 10% of the floor. And I'll wait day after day, check day after day until it finally pops up. And eventually opportunities like this will come. Yeah. But and if playing you're that game, playing that game helps you to hold your gems. Like if you're thinking like, no, I have to hit these, these specific things instead of just FOMOing into stuff that having these little categories that you have to hit and check off the box on every single one that will help you when it comes to spending gems that you don't necessarily want to spend or yeah. you're going to regret it afterwards. I, I like how you said, I actually really like that you said that like in my own personal portfolio outside of NFTs, I try to use always data and criteria to make decisions to remove yeah. emotions. So when you say I want to complete the set, I'm only going to buy if it's within 10% of the floor, you've given yourself a criteria that removes emotion. So you don't FOMO into things or, or, or do whatever. And you, you live by that. It might take you three weeks to complete your set, but just the way things work in this inefficient market, the opportunities, they do pop up. So I think it's a good point that you made. In yeah, terms you might of never complete the set, criteria. but you know, you got some value and then maybe you have lower digits, maybe in the future of things pump, those become more valuable. And then if you want the set, maybe you can kind of decrease and go into a, a low four digit and to have a well, four if, digit set. You never know what's going to happen. So in this market, if you're patient though, the opportunities, they come, yeah. they, they will eventually come, but you obviously have to be very active. It's fun. On top of it. It's fun when you hit when you hit one that has all your criteria. It's really cool. You feel yeah. good about it. You don't really regret it ever. Uh, it is what it is. You're just like, you know what? I waited for that. I was patient. And uh, I like I like that I got it where I got it. I think yeah. you have another example. Yeah, this is another really good example here. Superman, super, super polarizing guy right now. Sub a thousand right now. Craziness. Unbelievable at under a thousand. So if you look at Superman, let's say you want to hold this guy long term, you scroll down, you look for three digits, and what do you find it's when tough. you get to, you can't really find one, which is good. It's healthy. It means that you know mm -hmm. people are holding their low mints. But then look here, 866, 1400, 760, 1500, 680, 1500, um, 409, 1600, 677. Yeah, they're all bunched. There's a they're bunch. They're bunched. 337. So, so you're bunched at the 50% mark here. Because you have the bunch, first of all, even if it was in the 10% and there was the bunch, I'm not buying it. The bunch automatically crosses it off my list if there's five or six of them at that price. Yeah. Um, but if there was one and it was within 10%, I would go for this one here. It's it's 400 above the floor. It's the lowest one. To me, doesn't matter. It's not. I'm not looking at it because I feel like the market trend is still in the downward direction. Um, if that were to change, 
my criteria would change as as market sentiment changes criteria changes and you come up with a new plan but right now in the state that we are in uh i don't see anything coming down the pipeline that will change that sentiment yet so uh and like we mentioned actually in our live yesterday i think you're going to have a little bit of a lag uh once something does come that will sure people are going to get into things but the new people who come in are not going to know how to play the game the same way as you that's true uh, you know, you're, you're going to have veteran uh vv yeah. users here that understand the blockchain very yeah. differently I don't know if you want to show any other examples. That one with the, uh, huh. the so this is not really this is not really a low mint example. I just uh, I I heard about it on Rob stuff uh, stream. Shout out Rob stuff. I think it was yesterday. So this still hasn't sold. Yeah. <laughs> um, but guys, check this out. So if you guys are looking, I don't know, just to shout it out for maybe somebody didn't see his stream. Um, it was at forty five hundred at that time. So J Clemente fifty six is not able to sell this Avengers number yeah. eight secret rare. I think there's only 250 of these in the world and you're you're looking at 3200 gems below the next one but this comes with a warning why is this like this why has it been like this for so long it's just there's so few of them that the actual price is not even determined like people don't know what this will sell for clearly the 7500 no one's buying um that's not the true floor 4500 wasn't the floor because nobody bought that for over 24 hours it seemed like now we're at 4,400. Is that the floor? We'll find out if someone's willing to go there. Um, but yeah, I mean, this isn't a low mint, but it's in the, the massively scarce area. So in a way, it's like you're buying a low mint. You're trying to find scarcity where there's no scarcity. In this example, you just legitimately have only 250 of these. But when I see this, I don't see deal. I see um, bearish action, right? I see that there is somebody who wants out and uh, they have to literally cut the floor by a massive amount in hopes that somebody will be attracted to this and buy it thinking they're getting a deal. So it does, it does raise some red flags. It's a lot of gems. It's a lot of gems. Yeah. So, you know, that's why if you think about it, no wonder why no one's paying the 7,600 4,400 might still be too much. And he might have to look at other 250 secret rares in the market to maybe be a little bit more comparable or maybe look at Todd. Like if now someone got- could buy a Todd, if someone could buy a Rizzo, if someone could buy you got bigger Vader. books. You've got ASM one sitting at under four thousand right now. Sure, there's a little bit more mints, but bigger book. Yeah, it's all relative to the other market. So yeah. th- this this is just another thing. It's like buying a low mint in the sense that it's very scarce. And it's the same theory where okay, if you really really want to own this and you don't care what happens afterwards, you're in you, you're at you're half the floor now at this point. Okay, maybe you pick it up, yeah. but. At the same time, to me, if you did want to flip it, you probably wouldn't be able to flip it. You just hold it forever at that point until the market turns around. Yep. So if you guys are looking for an Avengers 8, uh, it's up to you guys what you want to do. But just wanted to point out that it exists and spread and all that stuff uh, in case you were wondering. But I think that's it, Rob. Yeah. Let us know below what you guys think of this video. We always love to hear from you. We want to know, you know, what, what do you do? Do you buy low mints? If you do buy them... Do you have a set of criteria that you follow to help decide whether you want to enter or not? Do you feel like the market is bearish, but you still want to buy? And when you do, do you choose low mints? Um, Do you see the same kind of patterns or a different pattern that we talked about in this video? So let us know below what you think. And of course, don't forget, smash the subscribe button, become a superstar. Good things happen to superstars. That's why keep calm, stack on is right over there. Join the superstar fam. We love to hear from you. We love to you know, get your comments, read them to the to the rest of the superstars so that we can have a discussion and learn and, and talk about it as a, as a fam. So uh, we will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye.